guys, so welcome back to another strange video. I've never done a cooking video before, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to show you how to make a really good hot dog for cheap shit that you can find anywhere in any store. Basically, that's a grocery store or just a little tiny store. Um, so you're only going to need about see, one, two, three, four, five ingredients. This is kind of spicy-ish, kind of not. It just depends. It has jalapenos on it. That's one thing that's really hot on it. And pepper, kind of not really hot, kind of like very mild. Um, but it can pick up the spice. So what you're going to need is you're going to need turkey hot dogs. They're really good and they're very cheap to buy. They come in, I think, one, two, three, well, I think they're coming in uh, 12 packs with 12 hot dogs, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, they come in six. They come in six hot dogs. I th uh, yeah, I believe there's six. So you get these are like maybe two, three bucks. They're very cheap. What you next you're gonna need is the lettuce. You need lettuce. And yeah, oh shit, that's open. Jalapenos, very cheap. Um, relish and. Pepper. Don't matter what kind, just get normal pepper. Don't put anything else on it. Um, I'm missing something. Shit. Oh, mustard. You need mustard for sure. Forgot. <clears throat> just ordinary mustard. So, it's very simple. It's not hard at all. Uh, hold on a second. Let me clean up this. I just spilled jalapeno juice all over everywhere. So, and you're also going to need hot dog buns that are like fucking a dollar if you can find a dollar general. They're like a dollar. <laughs> but you want to get the good ones, not the ones that fall apart all the time because if you're going to have trouble trying to get all of these things in one bun, you might want to get hoagie buns that are like for big hot dogs. These hot dogs are pretty long. They're not like just normal. They're a little bit longer. So, um... Yeah, but you need to find some good hot dogs that are cut straight down the middle and not like half and half, not even like fucking quarter of the way. Here's the bun and it's cut like right here and there's like just a little flap and the bun will just literally crack it and just fucking ruin it. But you want to microwave these for 30 seconds. They will not be hard, they'll chase just right. You don't even want to eat them cold, it's kind of disgusting. But 30 seconds is good enough. Uh, for any microwave, just 30 seconds, you're good. Next one, you can probably put two in there for 30 seconds, but we'll see. So you need a decent bun. Like that is, meh, it's okay. What you don't want, oh, it's not bad actually either. There's some bad ones in here that are not cut straight, and they're like very, like that. See like how that's, oh, that's not bad, never mind. Oh. There was some bad ones in here. Let me find if I can find one. Like that. See how close that? It's not even. It's just that's gonna break easily. You want one that's kind of like you know, uh, somewhat tight, so it holds everything. But if once you microwave it, if you're gonna microwave a hot dog bun, do it for at least ten seconds at least, or you don't have to, because once you microwave, it's gonna get soft and it's gonna be harder to keep everything together. But there's not that many ingredients. It could be worse. So we're going to find a good one. Maybe like this one. Possibly. And just spread it open. Sounds so sexual. But we'll get over that. So. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to microwave the hot dog first. That's the first step obviously. And like I said. These are Oscar Mayer turkey bun length uncut Franks hot dogs. Pretty much like ballpark hot, hot, I haven't talked. Pretty much like ballpark hot dogs. <coughs> Ugh. So yeah, I'm gonna wait 30 seconds when it's done. It's not really that spicy. You can make it spicy, but you need certain kind of sauce, and I usually have ghost pepper and shit, but I don't. So, yeah. So they don't have ghost pepper. I haven't had that in a while, but it is pretty good. I, I create a lot of different food things that are not bad. They're not like, oh my god, but they're pretty good. So 30 seconds is good. It's not overcooked. It's perfect. 
Uh, lettuce is gonna be last because you kind of have to cut up a little bit, not too much. Ow, it's fucking hot. So I'm gonna get that fucker in there real good. Kind of squishes down a little bit because you want to get everything on the f in the kind of in the hot dog, not on top of it, because it's just gonna fall out when you eat it. Put pepper on it, not a lot, so it's kind of evenish. Uh, ooh, I can smell that. <coughs> and then you want to add relish. Mustard is last. Mustard is the last thing you put on. You don't need a, I don't know why this is really watery, but whatever. So I'm going to put lettuce. Kind of get, oh, that's way off. Um, okay. There. Okay. You might want to drain the relish a little bit if it's really watery. Um, next you need lettuce. I already did pepper. So you just want to take up some of the top. You don't really need a lot, just enough. Sometimes I do this backwards sometimes, so yeah. It don't matter. Either way you do it, it doesn't matter. Um, I just made it up kind of and that's why it's like this. So, you know, put, in, put everything back like a normal person. And then you open the jalapenos. These are really big ones for some reason. So instead of using like 12 of them, you just split them in half like that. So you only have like maybe one or two on there. But there's these are like generic. So they're very weird looking. They kind of taste different. Okay. So our last ingredient is mustard. If I can open it. Just need just a regular line, and then you're done, pretty much. That's it. This would probably cost you probably six bucks to get all these things, but everybody pretty much has mustard and shit. Probably mustard and pepper, mostly everybody has, so you would have to probably buy jalapenos, maybe relish, hot dogs, and buns. That's it. So just... Uh, most things you probably will have to buy is um, jalapenos, relish, hot dogs, and buns. Depends if you're a hot dog eater or not. So, yeah. So, need to kind of see it's already breaking the whole week that shit is. You can see it's not really that stable. So, I don't even need the microwave because it's going to fall apart even more. I'm trying to keep it without cracking, but it already is cracking because... These buns are very cheap, so you might want to get good buns, even if they're more expensive. That way, they don't fucking break on you. Um, I'm gonna do a taste test actually, so you guys can see if it's actually good. And I can't fake it because I've had it before, so it's got to be good. Obviously, if I'm telling you I'm making it, or you should make it. All right, ready? Here we go. Hmm. I recommend getting the turkey instead of the beef. Beef just tastes weird. Turkey's more flavorful. And, um, yeah, this is kind of not really a filling filling meal. But, um, it, it's pretty good. Very cheap. Easy to make. You know, it's not like super good shit. But it's pretty good. Um, so... I think that'd be it guys it's very simple very easy nothing crazy hard um um so yeah i think that'd be it i'm i'm not even talking because i'm confused so yeah that's pretty much it guys for that and i'll do another live stream tonight just of my regular major league but we did do we submitted to the offseason got a brand new Brand speaking to a lot of players. A lot of players retired, which is sucks. But yeah, so I hope you guys, if you like this video, please like it, send it, and share it to everybody. And if you're not subscribed when you're watching this, please do and help me out. I will get more popular sooner or later. Um, it took me a while to even get to 78 subs. That's a lot of people. For me, it is, you know, you never thought you would get that much, but it's all about reaching out and promoting yourself. Sometimes it costs a little bit of money, like five bucks or whatever, but um, there's certain ways you don't have to do that. It just kind of makes it speed up the process. And since YouTube changed their their policy, I have to have not 10,000 views. Well, 
I'm gonna start still trying to do that anyways, but you need to um, have a lot of watch times, like 10,000 watch times or some bullshit or 5,000 or whatever. I think it's 5,000 or 4,000 watch times. And you need to, um, fuck, I forgot, God damn it. Um, something else. But yeah, I'm not even close to that. Oh, you have to have a thousand subs and like 4,000 watch times. So before that, they said 10,000 views total. Then you can do it. So they changed it again on me. So this little fuckers seriously is annoying. So you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have um, like 4,000 or 5,000 watch times. So uh, you guys help me out. As much as you can, I appreciate all of you watching my live streams. I would, I can't even talk. I would like you guys to watch these kind of videos. I don't post them likely a lot, so even then, it's even better. Pretty much, it's pretty cool. So if you guys could watch both of them, because I'm not going to do live streams forever. Once I get equipment and a job, a lot of stuff will do different things. I can't, won't have time to live stream all the time, which I'm doing instead for my license and my looking for an easy job until I can find the right one and hopefully. If YouTube takes a good turn and I can reach their requirements, then I can start making money. I made like sixteen dollars not sixteen dollars, sixteen cents last time I um uh what's it called? Last time they changed their policy like when I first started, I made seven sixteen cents. So that was off a prank video that was really gay. So yeah, alright guys. Thank you for watching, and please like this video, share it with your friends, do everything you can just to get it out there, get it public, make it go viral. There's one of my videos that's going viral, it's about this uh, woman beater video, so go check it out. It has like probably 500 views, 600, so it'll be my most popular video, so go check that out. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for supporting me. Try this out, it may be not that good for all of you that are watching this, but you never know. Mary, try new things and you can learn how to cook somewhat. Alright, guys. See ya. Thanks.